News. Если у нас попытаются отнять нашу страну, нашу свободу, наши жизни, жизни наших детей, мы будем защищаться. Mwana wa profesa wa sayansi ya kompyuta, Rais Zelensky alipata kiti cha urais bila uzoefu wote kwenye siasa na masuala ya vita. Licha hiyo, Rais huyu wa Ukraine amewashangaza wengi duniani kwa kuiongoza nchi yake ikasalia kuwa yenye mshikamano ikikabiliana na adui mwenye nguvu si kidogo. Amekuwa kiongoza jeshi la Ukraine kukabiliana na Urusi nchi inayoongozwa na mmoja wa marais wanaozoa hofu kwenye roho za wengi duniani Vladimir Putin wa Russia akifahamika kote kwa usanii uigizaji na ucheshi awali kabla kuwa rais bila shaka hilo linadhihirisha kwamba ni mtu mwenye uwezo kwenye mambo mengi na vipawa vingi alisomea sheria kwenye chuo kikuu cha taifa cha Ukraine na kupata degree katika fani ile lakini akaamua kujitafutia riziki kupitia usanii, uigizaji na ucheshi. Kutokana na hilo, wengi walifikiria Zelensky hatoweza uzingativu unaoifaa kazi ya urais. Lakini tangu kuwa rais, ameibuka kuwa mtu makini asiyemzaha. Mtihani wake mkubwa aliukabili mwaka jana wakati Urusi ilitangaza vita rasmi dhidi ya Ukraine na kuvamia nchi hii. Zelensky aliongoza jeshi la Ukraine hadi kulikomesha jeshi la Urusi kwenye mtaa huu wa Bucha kilomita 29 tu kutoka jiji kuu la taifa Kiev. Jeshi la Urusi lipofika Bucha na kushindwa kuingia Kiev, lilianza kuwavamia raia, likawajeruhi, likawatesa na kuwaua wengi hapa Bucha. Tulipofika hapa, tulipata kumbukumbu ya madhila ingalipo and lots of civilians were killed uh, simply with a direct shot to their head, uh, to their chest, to their knees. And uh, as lots of people were killed, their bodies lied on the streets. Ukakamavu alionyesha Zelensky hadi kuokoa jiji la Kiev kutokana na kutekwa na Urusi ulimpatia sifa kote duniani. Hata jarida maarufu la Time lilichapisha picha yake na kumtangaza mtu wa kuheshimika duniani wa mwaka 2000 na 22 Kufikia sasa na poendelea kusimama kidete kuilinda nchi yake dhidi ya mashambulizi ya Urusi Watafiti wa maoni na hisia za watu wamesema kwenye ripoti zao kwamba Zelensky anaheshimika na raia wa Ukraine na heshima hiyo inaendelea kuongezeka siku baada ya siku kwa hivyo wafuatiliaji wa historia ya siasa za dunia huenda wakaanza kumlinganisha Zelensky na mmoja wa marais wa Amerika aliyetoka fani ya usanii na uigizaji Hollywood. Alikuwa Ronald Reagan ambaye alibadilika kuwa mkakamavu mzingativu asiyekuwa na mzaha kazini. In South and Central America, democracy has been given a rebirth. Reagan mtangazaji wa michezo kwenye redio baadaye mwigizaji sinema alishinda kiti cha urais mwaka 1980 na kuiongoza Amerika wakati wa mgungano wa vita baridi matunda ya uongozi wake yalikuwa ni kuvunjwa ukuta wa Berlin na kusambaratika kwa umoja wa Soviet USSR ilikuwa miaka miwili baada ya kukamilisha muhula wake
huenda Volodymyr Zelensky mwigizaji awali anafuata nyayo hizo. Tukikutana naye hapa katika mkutano wa habari kutoka mataifa kumi ya bara la Afrika ikiwemo Kenya, Afrika Kusini, Nigeria, Angola, Senegal na Morocco. Zelensky aleonesha nia ya Ukraine kujenga mahusiano thabiti na bara la Afrika. Hilo ni licha ya vita. We are starting the process of opening 10 embassies on the African continent. This is a challenging step politically and financially, but we have taken this step. We are not as powerful in your information space as Russia is it's a fact but uh, we do not try to brainwash your citizens with disinformation the way that the Russian Federation is doing that hello nilicha vita tari ukraini na balozi kumi barani afrika ikiwemo kenya na sasa itafungwa balozi zingine kumi Waziri wa mashauri ya nchi za kigeni wa Ukraine Dmitry Kuleba amefanya safari 12 barani Afrika mwaka huu pekee. Because Russia blackmails these nations and forces them to disagree because Russian embassy is aware when Ukrainian embassy will emerge it will be very difficult to disseminate their lie. Ni kutokana na hali hii inayodaiwa kwa Urusi kuiharibia Ukraine sifa ndipo Zelensky alijibu maswali ya kundi hili la wanahabari huku akisema nchi yake imekuwa thrika pakubwa kwa propaganda za Urusi alitoa hakikisho kwamba serikali yake inatia bidii kuziwezesha bandari zote za Ukraine kuhudumu ili nafaka kutoka Ukraine zisafirishwe barani Afrika kukabili tatizo la chakula na bei ya chakula kwenye mataifa ya Afrika The country that I come from is a beneficiary of the services of the order support. Mr. President, we know the challenges that Ukraine is facing over that port. Uh, but do you have an assurance as to whether this port will be returned to full operation for the benefit of uh, the countries in Africa that receives goods through that port? Like I mentioned earlier, we've achieved 4 million tons using Odessa. We'll see uh, um, our partners know about uh, our needs in terms of air defense and missile defense. They know about our requirements that uh, will help us uh, make uh, the Odessa port facilities and other ports in the area fully operational so we are working on that we are trying to uh, grow up our uh, opportunities if i may ask you sir um recently there was a, a, a statement by your army commander to say that the war is into the a phase of stalemate i know that you have responded to that you said it's not true and you you need more assistance could you give some idea what sort of what will it take for you to overcome the current stalemate and to decisively end in the war against Russia if i may ask thank you with regard to the stalemate and difficult situation and the battlefield the well it's not the first day of the war and it's not the first uh, challenge uh, that uh, we are having currently there, there were rather uh, but we uh, prevailed uh, over those challenges because we are fighting in our home turf so to speak nothing can compare to that there may be some weaker situations uh, there are some delays there are some uh, measures uh, taken by Russia but they are momentary uh, developments in this uh, uh, struggle yes we all need to be patient uh, and stalemate the stalemate if you ask me it is a frozen conflict 
my first question is to ask you to clarify the question on Israel and Gaza. You made mention of Russia's schemes to distract the world from what's happening here in Ukraine. Are you categorically saying that Russia has a hand in the ongoing Israel-Gaza situation? That's one. And then still on Gaza and Israel, do you sometimes have a nostalgic feeling when you listen to the news or read what's happening in Gaza in terms of a bigger power I mean, people who have edge, better technology, and the shelling is going on in Gaza. Thank you. We cannot, we cannot compare what is currently going on in the Middle East with the full-scale uh, war in Ukraine. What is going on in the Middle East could have been prevented. It's a fact. Israel and Palestine was uh, is at war now because Russia and Iran had wanted so. That's my personal take on it. I would like to know how much um, Ukraine has suffered in terms uh, of the economy, uh, revenue collection to be specific, uh, compared to what was before the Russian invasion. Secondly, I would uh, like to know uh, why uh, Ukraine took a neutral vote uh, in the uh, when the United Nations Security Council voted uh, um, on the Israel Gaza war a few weeks ago. Thank you. Now, uh, how much we suffered in terms of uh, revenues. Currently, uh, the gap in our budget is about 40 billion US dollars this year. Can you imagine? This is what Russia did to uh, us with regard to UN resolutions. I think that uh, Ukraine acted uh, very fairly. We m made proposals to the resolution with an element of condemnation of the Russian aggression, but uh, at some point in time our amendments m were dropped, were crossed out. If we would only seek uh, fairness and justice in one war and no such fairness and another Ukraine decided to uh, show that uh, it won't uh, do that Zelensky bila shaka ni mgeni kwenye siasa na vita lakini si mgeni katika kuelewa matarajio ya raia wa Ukraine hii ndio maana katika jiji hili kuu la Kiev kazi ya kujenga upya mdo msingi uliovunjwa inaendelea hasa baada ya Urusi kubadilisha namna ya vita na kuanza vita vya tumbili visivyoweza kubashiriwa. Wellington nyongesa KTN News Ukraine.